Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dasha. Добро пожаловать из Dasha в Russia React. And today I'm going to watch a movie which won a poll last week on my Patreon channel. And the name of the movie is Apollo 13. I am very eager to watch this one for a few reasons. Uh, the first one is that I know that this movie is based on a true story. And to be honest, I don't know a lot about American space travel history. So I am excited to watch and learn tonight. And the second reason is I know that Tom Hanks is playing in this movie. But and he proves himself to be an awesome actor. However, his movies are usually sad and hard to watch. So I mentally prepared myself <laughs> that this movie is not going to go bright and easy. Um I do have my Patreon channel and the link is on the video, it's also in the description. And if you want to see my full reaction video and participate in walls on what I'm going to watch next, I would really appreciate it. So please, <laughs> please come and support me. Um, anyway, I think we're ready to start. Inspired by the late President Kennedy, in only seven years, America has risen to the challenge of what he called the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. After trailing the Russians for years with our manned space program, the entire world watched in awe as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. The big news came just a moment ago. I love that we used the actual recording. Now let's say this is me here in the command module and this is you. All right. <laughs> okay, that's a nice pickup line, you know? That thing sliding, everything's clicking. <laughs> Gemini 12, Apollo 8, they were Stop the first ones one. around the moon. Yeah. This guy did 10 laps. <laughs> With one hand on the wheel. You oh, it's his place? I see. <gasps> what? Lieutenant Dan in this movie? Are you serious? I love it by literally playing in few movies together. I love their team. You know, my cousin called. Uh -huh. Asked who we bribed to get on Jim Lovell's crew. Good. Let's hear it for, let's hear it for Jim Lovell. Okay. Out of here. So this is uh, Jim's crew, right? Okay. The uh, opening I ought to have on the camera. Well, everyone is so, you know, excited. It's so cool. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. The lamp foot pads are on the... Uh... Okay, this is... I don't know why I have so long, many emotions. Armstrong is on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong. I don't know, it's just so beautiful, you know? Okay, this is such a... July 20th, 1960. Great achievement. And one small step for man. And a big step for the mankind. Yes, I know this phrase. Yeah, that's true, that's so beautiful. I literally have goosebumps right now. <laughs> I can't deal with cleaning up. Let's sell the house. <laughs> okay, that's nice. After everybody, you know. Christopher Columbus and Charles Lindbergh and Neil Armstrong. From now on, we live in a world where man has walked on the moon. That's such a great achievement, to be honest. He just decided to go. I'm so proud. I'm gonna go back there. You know, I love it. He's so passionate about it. What did the man say? Give me a lever long enough and I'll move the world? Well, that's exactly what we're doing here. A computer that can fit into a single room and, and hold millions of pieces of information. So many things changed. When are you going up again, Jim? I'm slated to be the commander of Apollo 14 sometime late next year. If there is an Apollo 14. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I've been asking why we're continuing to fund this program now that we've beaten the Russians to the moon. Imagine if, if Christopher Columbus had come back from the New World and no one returned in his footsteps. That's actually true. That's true. I mean, you, you should never stop, you know? You should always grow. How do you go to the bathroom in space? <laughs> People are not very excited to fund this program anymore, right? Because in their minds, they already achieved what we wanted. Being a cheerleader, Mom, you don't understand. I worked so hard on this. <laughs> Teenagers. I still get it. You know that Easter vacation trip we had planned for Acapulco? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> the moon. <gasps> We've all been bumped up to the prime crew of Apollo 13. Oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> yay! <laughs> six months? You're moving up six months? Dad, can I please wear this? Sure. <laughs> no, no. I'm... Oh, fathers. <laughs> but she's so proud, you know? 
They're not rushing things, are they? I mean, you're going to be oh, ready in six scary. months? Naturally, it's 13. Why 13? It comes after 12, huh? Because 13 is a lucky number. I heard that there are no floors, for, no 13 floors or something in the buildings. 75 feet, we're coming up on docking. Oh, they are like uh, simulating it? Like a simulation? Houston, we are drifting down and away. You want to just back off and take another run at this? No, no. Oh, wow, this is like an actual test. I mean, I understand you need to prepare a lot. Caption. That's it. Nice. Ah, Good that's job. It. That's three hours of boredom, followed by seven seconds of sheer terror. Good job, guys. You just won the Christmas turkey. Used up too much fuel. Ah, uh, you bumped the curve. Yeah, I love that he's so precise, you know. Yeah, I know, but my rate of turn is still a little too slow there. I really think we should work it again. Well, let's get it right. Okay, set it up again. I honestly agree that you it's better, you know. Good shape over here. Okay, that's not good. Can't get your helmet on! I can't No oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The gravitation oh What wait wait I thought it's a test Oh my gosh it's... Oh my gosh Oh no the glove Wait, wait, wait. Was it a dream? It was it true? Okay, three weeks prior to lunch. So, the number 13 doesn't bother you. Only if it's a Friday, Phil. <laughs> it doesn't bother you that the public regards this flight as routine. It's nothing routine about flying to the moon. I can vouch for that. True that. Jim, we've got a problem. Oh, no, that's not good. It's just Charlie Duke has the measles. What is the measles? Ken Mattingly has them. Virus? You, you want to break up my crew two days before the launch? Ken Mattingly will be getting seriously ill precisely when you and Hayes will be ascending from the lunar surface to rendezvous with him. Oh, okay, so it's like a flu? We can either scrub Mattingly and go with Swaggart, or we can bump all three of you to a later mission. Okay, that's very hard. And he... Jim, if you hold out for Ken, you will not be on Apollo 13. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That's so... Okay. That's so bad because, you know, they literally, they spent so much time together and understand each other. Hotel room. Swagger. Yeah. But it's just... It's terrifying. Uh, I understand. They cannot risk Thank you, sir. it. <laughs> was he happy or was it like... No. I, I didn't get full his reaction. But I got his. I had a feeling when they started doing all the blood tests that... Uh, but he's agreed, you know, but what he did in the simulator was pretty cool. You sure about this, Jim? I mean, why don't I go upstairs and talk to Deke? I'm sure we can work this out. This was my call. It feels like a betrayal to him, right? Must have been a tough one. He was really fighting for you, Ken. Look, I don't have the measles. I'm not gonna get the measles. But each character is very important, you know, in this mission. And if one got sick, that's it. They all could die. Okay, we're into program 64. Uh, Houston, we are at 400,000 feet, passing entry interface. Okay, we're in a simulator with a new guy. I got a car to light. We're coming in too shallow. Okay, we're at 3 Gs. 5 Gs. I'm going to stay in this roll, see if I can pull this out of it. He's not as... As good as Ken. Well, geez, we're running up. Because Ken was so precise, you know, he was so careful. Uh, okay, guys, we're gonna do this again, obviously, but uh, give us a minute. Jim, could we have a word? We wanna postpone, right? Because I cannot even imagine how much pressure on this new guy. You know, they've been training so hard together, all of them. He just comes in. It's a new crew and stuff. If I had a dollar for every time they killed me in this thing, I, I wouldn't have to work for you, Dean. <laughs> well, we have two days. We'll be ready. Let's do it again. Whoa. Night before the launch. But it can't be. She's not coming to the launch. I heard it was going to be a hell of a show. Oh, my gosh. It's so beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no. Her wedding ring. Oh my gosh! Oh, 
that's not good, you know, it's like every little thing can get her on and it's like it might be like it's not a good sign. I'm gonna give these guys a beautiful ride. Sure you will, Jack. Um, this is uh, like a camera overall. I can't imagine what we're feeling right now. All this few minutes before the launch. It must be like, you know, terrifying and excitement and exciting at the same time. Oh good luck guys. I do really believe in you. This is from your wife, Jean. Starting to get worried. Oh his vest. Oh. <laughs> Okay, he is very nervous. And this is understandable. 13 flight controllers, listen up. Give me a go, no, go for launch. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. Vital. We're go fly. Guidance. We're go fly. GNC. We're go. Tell you. Go. Control. Go fly. FAO. We are go. Network. Go. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is it. A few bumps and we're hauling the mail. <laughs> Oh. T minus 15, 14. Oh. Okay, I don't know, but it just brings so many emotions. Seriously, it. I feel. Oh. We have Come on, baby. And you could see that he's cheering. It's good flag right down the middle. So everything goes like a plot. <gasps> okay, so we did it. We did it. Okay, this is amazing. Yes, this is 13. We've got a center engine cutoff. Go on the other four. Oh, no, no, no. Already? I need to know if the IU is correcting for the number five shutdown. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, this, this is terrifying for them, for sure. Yes, there was the story on engine 5. He's looking if they can stop it. Roger that. A 13, and we're not sure why the inboard was out early, but the other engines are a go, so we're just going to burn those remaining engines for a little bit longer. Oh, already. I can't believe you did this four times. Worst part's over. Exactly. Four times. Hey! Oh, the reporters! Yeah, everyone wants to talk. Thank you. Proud, happy, and thrilled. <laughs> very proud and very happy when we're thrilled. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but. Fred, are you okay? Yeah, I mean. Okay, everybody, let's get turned around and pick up the lunar module. I thought I trained a lot, you know, so there's no such things happen. Okay, Swigert, command module pilot. She's all yours. Houston, we've got a good separate. Okay, for for a second, I got worried like something went wrong. And pitching up. Pitch rate 2.5 degrees per second. Oh, I heard it. How's the alignment? GDC, align. 100 feet. Because, well, everyone is worried right now. I'm not the only one. Hey, don't worry, guys. I'm on top of it. How are we looking, Fredo? We're not there yet. 40 feet. Come on, come on. You can do that. Hey, come on, come on. He did it! We have hard dog. Roger, understand. Okay, Good deal, go. Jack. Okay, this is amazing. But he scratched a bit. <laughs> oh, it's too bad we can't demonstrate this on TV. Ooh, that's how... Wait, B? Right? Away from the, the face of the Earth, and we have a pretty good show in store for you tonight. The vast expanse oh. of outer space. Marilyn must be so proud, you know, to see him. <laughs> When I go up there on 19, I'm going to take my entire collection of Johnny Cash along. <laughs> oh. oh, 
the networks dumped us. What? One of them said we made going to the moon about as exciting as taking a trip to Pittsburgh. Are you serious? My son's supposed to be on. We're not He's in outer it? space. Why are we not showing it? Okay, this is might be pretty devastating. Oh well, if anyone from the uh, from the IRS is watching, I forgot to file my my, my ten forty return and then I meant No joke. They'll jump on him. <laughs> Let's truly <do it> can. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll head back up the uh, tunnel now and back into the Odyssey. But that's so tight, you know, that's... You must not be claustrophobic, because I am, and it, even watching it, it terrifies me. Our next broadcast will be from Frau Mora on the surface of the moon. Mm, she, she's wild. Wishing everyone back on Earth uh, a pleasant evening. But it's so nice, you know, for, because she doesn't know what's happening and to see a live broadcast of her husband, it must be something that it's said that no one is considering a big deal. And then if you could uh, give your oxygen tanks a stir. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like something is going bad, isn't it? Hey, we've got a problem here. What did you do? Nothing. I stirred the tanks. What, what did you do? Houston, we have a problem. Oh, that's a lot of things going on at once. Yes, we've got a big light. Fire doesn't make any sense. We've got multiple caution and warning, Houston. Oh my gosh. We've got a reset. Oh boy, what's going on here? Flight, let me get back to you. Flight GNC. Oh, GNC. I, I keep losing radio signal. Oh, Flight, their antenna must be flipping. Their antennas, they're losing the signal. It's, it's reading a quadruple failure. That can't happen. It's, it's got to be instrumentation. Oh, that must be so terrifying. Just stow it. We've been hit by a media. We'd be dead by now. And it's like it's destroying, you know? It's Houston, we are venting something out into space. Oh, he went out of a mirror. Window. A gas of some sort. Oh, my gosh. It's got to be the oxygen. Roger, Odyssey, we copy your venting. Give me an alarm. Okay, okay. let's everybody check into the four levels. Check. But you, you saw this, like, second of silence, you know, where everyone was just terrified for a second. Quiet down. Quiet down. Let's stay cool, people. I want everybody to alert your support teams. Wake up anybody you need, get them in here. Yeah. Let's work the problem, people. Let's not make things worse by guessing. He's a good, he's a good captain, you know, commander. What have we got on a spacecraft that's good? Okay, that's one way to look at it. We're not gonna have power much longer. The ship's bleeding to death. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing, you know, like a good phrase for this one. Um, Flight, I recommend we uh, shut down the reactant valves of the fuel cells. If that's where the leak is, we can isolate it. We can isolate it there and we can save what's left in the tanks and we can run on the good cell. Gene, the Odyssey is dying. Oh, I see. From my chair here, this is the last option. That's a tough call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, say. That's a very tough call. Capcom, let's have them close the reactant valves. Are you saying you want the whole smash? Closing down the react valves for fuel cell shutdown? Yeah, Jim, uh... We think that closing the and he was dreaming about the moment, you know, he walks on the moon. And they all did. But I understand that their priority is keeping them safe. Yes, Houston, we copy. We just lost the moon. Can you see, like... Hey, Fred, I'll shut those down. And we understand that we have to do that to survive, right? But... This doesn't work. We're not gonna have enough power left to get home. Hey, you know, this movie is honestly terrifying to watch. It's not, it's falling, it's falling. It's not supposed to go like that. God damn it. Uh, Houston, uh, O2 on one is still falling. Better, how long does it take to power up the limb? Three hours by the checklist. We don't have that much time. 15 minutes of oxygen. 
And that's it. The command module will be dead. 15 minutes of oxygen. Okay, guys, listen up. Here's the drill. We're moving the astronauts over to the left. We've got to get some oxygen up there. We're going to be shutting down the command module at the same time. We'll have to transfer the guidance system from one computer to the other, so I want those numbers up and ready when our guys are in position. How much time? Can you give me a number? Well, we're looking at less than 15 minutes of life support. In the but so little, you know? Like, he's like, what? Are you serious? We got 15 minutes, Fredo. It's worse than I thought. But... You know, the thing is that the technologists... Okay, Houston, I've completed the steps on page oh 15. Now I'm ready to power down the computer. Okay, and you see that all of them working, you know, very hard to get. I mean, I saw, like, come on, guys. Oh, that's why you should be very good in math, you know. I've uh, completed these gimbal conversions, but uh, I need a double check of the arithmetic. Uh, yeah, you can go, Jim. Correction, pitch, one, six, seven, point. But... What they need to do it by hands, you know, without any calculators. This is crazy. Doing math in a very stress stressful situation like that. Looks good, Blake. Okay, we'll go on those numbers. You're good. Log him in, Fredo. Okay, good job. I mean, oh, <laughs> Jim is really good. Three million fewer viewers. Oh my gosh, uh, no one cares, three million you know? fewer viewers watch the uh, space shot than did the last one. Oh my gosh. Because it's like the second one is not a big deal. At ABC <laughs> The Apollo 13 spacecraft has lost all electrical power. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They also losing breathing oxygen. Slow down. And the astronauts may An have electrical to failure. What exactly does that mean? That's terrifying. What do you mean there's no it's immediate it's danger? I, I just heard they're losing the oxygen. Gun. Can they get back? The Apollo 13 astronauts may be in grave danger. No, don't give me that NASA bullshit. <laughs> I want to know what's happening yeah, with my husband. Exactly. She's pretty calm, to be honest. RCS isn't up here yet. We have no attitude control on Aquarius. Oh my gosh. Control? What the hell happened? Control. I don't know. We just want to ask you. Like, we need more time. You know, and you see all their calculations, right? They're doing this is so. Oh, he need to be such control. Aquarius, watch that middle gimbal. We don't want you tumbling off in space. Yeah. Roger that, Houston. <laughs> I don't need to hear the obvious. I got the frappin' eight ball right in Andy, front of me. Andy, we're on Fox. You have a hot mind. We're reading everything you say. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> then it's only by a very narrow margin that we're going to get level Hayes and Swigert back oh, alive. Wait. They, like, over, overdoing it. Right? I mean, it's terrifying, but... We make it even worse. Something broke on your daddy's spaceship. And he's gonna have to turn around before he even gets to the moon. It's so hard for her to tell it. You know, explaining that to your kid. What anything was designed to do. I care about what it can do. So let's get to work. Let's lay it out. Okay? You know, I love that he's calm. You actually need a person in a, like, highly stressed situation to be like that. The president. President Nixon, he wants odds. Five to one against, three to one. I don't think they're that good. We are not oh losing gosh. those men. Not even that good, you know? We expect loss of signal in less than one minute. You want to look? <laughs> he cannot even look at it, right? It's just too... Like, too painful and stuff. It was... Coming up on Mount Maryland. Jim, you gotta take a look at this. It was like his live dream, right? And so on Earth, catch you on the flip side. But, you know, I don't care about the moon. I just want them to go home safe and sound, you know? She's just... I don't know why, but when I see her and I imagine what she feels like, it's... So... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Because he loves someone. And he could die literally any second. <laughs> Footsteps. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Wow, and you could see her. <laughs> and it's so... So close and so far at the same time. Good to see you too, Houston. The moon of 56 nautical miles. Like what Stand he did. Your PC plus two we got a burn coming up. 
We're gonna need a contingency if we lose calm with Houston. Jack, get into the Odyssey and bag up all the water you can before it freezes. So you're telling me you can only give our guys 45 hours? That brings them to about there. Oh my gosh. Gentlemen, that's not acceptable. Power is everything. Okay. We gotta turn everything off. Makes sense. Now, at that rate, in 16 hours, the batteries are dead, not 45. Oh my gosh. The crew, we gotta get them down to 12 amps. 12 amps? How many? But it's the only, it's the only way to save them. The more time we talk down here, the more juice they waste up there. I've been looking at the data for the past hour. That's the deal? That's the deal. The minute we finish the burn, we'll power down the limb. All right. You know, it's uh, for him to make all these choices. I want you guys to find every engineer who designed every switch, every circuit, every transistor, and every light bulb that's up there. Then I want you to talk to the guy in the assembly line who actually built the thing. Okay. Find out how to squeeze every amp out of both of these goddamn machines. You know, like... I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. Failure is not an option. No, it's not. But, you know, like, mission of going to the moon actually turned out in a please, please let's save guys mission. It's... It's horrible. There's been an explosion. Oxygen tanks are gone, two fuel cells gone, command modules shut down. Oh my gosh. Nobody's too sure how much power we're gonna have when we hit re-entry. The command module's gonna be frozen up pretty good by then. Yes, but they told him, you know, to do simulation. That's good. Give me the exact same conditions we've got in there now, and I need uh, present status of every instrument. Okay. You know, everything happens for a reason. Don't give me anything they don't have on board. Let's get this show on the road. Put him in space, fellas. And that he stayed there, and he, now he's going to do si learn simulations. Of them has slept since I can't the explosion. order these guys to go to sleep. Did you sleep up there? Yeah. Get off the cold in there for those guys. Dioxide. We had a CO2 filter problem on the limit. Oh, no, 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 better. Just anything over 15, and you get impaired judgment, blackouts. Yeah, module. They take square cartridges. The ones on the limb are round. Oh, my gosh. It's one problem after another. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. Oh, that's the ones who designed it? We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this using nothing but that. Oh, I see. Okay, I got it. Sorry, I didn't understand it in the beginning. All I did was stir those tanks. What was that gauge reading before you hit the switch? Hey, don't tell me how to fly the damn CM, all right? You don't they brought me know, in here do to do a job, asked me to stir the damn tanks, and I stirred oh, the tanks! She's blaming him. Stop kicking yourself in the ass. This is not my fault! No one is saying it is. Yes, gentlemen, we are not going to do this. We're not going to go bouncing off the walls for ten minutes! Are we on Vox? No, we're They're not on Vox. Me. Yeah, Houston, this is Aquarius. Go ahead. Yeah, Jim, uh, could you check your CO2 gauge? CO2 measurement has jumped four notches in the last hour. Jim, we're working on a procedure down here for you. know, it's like his water's at. He's literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. So much stress. But so... Go, go, go. Like, literally, I cannot even sit and not... You have to... What's this? <laughs> That's what they gotta make. Did I figure it out? Okay, we have a, uh, an unusual <laughs> procedure. Unusual? That's one way. But that's very innovative. I, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the right word, but creative, creative. Everyone wants You're to know You're saying now. that they're almost out of breathable air. With each breath, the three men expel more of the poisonous gas into the lunar module cockpit and... Oh my gosh. You know, I love how we put all this uh, information. So for me, because... I, I, I don't know a lot, but I still understand. But these are emergency facilities, and the problem is, if anything more goes wrong, they're in real trouble. Like, now we not. <laughs> oh no, he's not feeling well. He's, uh, like, he's blurring. His eyes are blurring. But you, you see, like, he, he had it, but he didn't show it because it's already, like, too, too much stress. You need a break in? If they don't get one, I don't get one. He's such a good teammate, you know? Okay. This is oh so disturbing. Tell them they have to sleep. He's is running a fever of 104. I am sick and tired of the entire Western world. Oh, no he's taking his 
detectors off. Flight, I just lost level. I'm not wearing my biomed sensors, Houston. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they just let <lost> me. <laughs> it's like, guys, let's not worry about like kidneys and stuff. We all decided to just like screw it, you know. Wait, now I'm losing all three of them. <laughs> it's just a little medical mutiny, Doc. <laughs> But he's like, yeah, I mean, we're in a very stressful situation right now. If we don't want to sleep, we don't want to sleep. It's not like you even can fall asleep. Damn it. At this rate, they nick the Earth's atmosphere and bounce off into space. We never get that. Oh, no, no, no. Our oh, sausage. It's frozen. Is it that that cold? How we still, you know, how you could see the ice on it. We can keep the Earth in the window, flying manually, the coax crosshairs right on its terminator. Yeah. In order to enter the atmosphere safely, the crew must aim for a corridor just two and a half degrees wide. The crew would have to hit a target no thicker than this piece of paper. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Gene, I want you to understand we've never tried this before, Burn. Okay. <laughs> Not to put a lot of pressure on you guys, but... I know what you're trying to do. I guarantee you, I won't hold you personally responsible. I'll let just go. Two, one, ignition. Come on. Come on, come on. Almost. All right, drop it down, Fredo. We're drifting. No, you Oh my gosh, we're drifting. No, no, no. You drifting a little bit. Okay, hold it right there. That's it. Back. No, Fredo, back. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so. Come, Come on, on baby. Hold it. Hold on. Shut down. We did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, it was very stressful. Houston, we have shut down. <laughs> you know what? How about that limb, huh? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, we're like, you better turn about it, so. Here's the order of what I want to do. Okay. I'm going to power up guidance. Well, if the chutes don't open, what's the point? Ken, you're telling yeah. me what you need. I'm telling you what we have to work with at this point. I'm not making this stuff up. Ken? We do not have the power, Ken. We just don't have it. Come on, Ken. Okay, I'm gonna go back and reorganize the sequencing again and find more power. Apollo 13 Commander Jim Lovell has more time and space, almost 24 days already. 24 days? Oh my gosh. You're going to get the procedure up to us, whatever it is. And we're going to go over it step by step so there's no foul ups. Okay. But we don't have. The world's getting awfully big in the window. They don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. We don't. Yeah. Ken Mattingly's in the simulator right now. Three or four amps. God damn it, John. Is it three or four? Four. Four. We need to be very precise. It's like he, he figured out something, right? You see? We know they have some power left in the limb batteries, right? Yeah. It's power from the command module to the limb. Yes. Right, it's backup for the limb power supply. Yes. I'm listening. Reverse it. Reverse the flow and see if we can draw these four amps. Okay. I want whatever you guys got on these power procedures. Gene, they're already. No, I don't want the whole damn Bible. Just give me a couple chapters. We've got to get something up to these guys. God damn it! I don't want another estimate! I want the procedure! Yeah, they, you know, like, we see, like, all losing it, and he was in so much control, like, self-control, you know, and now he's already, he cannot. Fine so far. Really? You're under the limit, keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Please. Here we go. Please, please, please. See, I'm seeing it. Oh, that, that is very close, that is very close. What's that? Oh my gosh. Is your computer on now? Yes. Up and running. Yes. We did it! <laughs> I think we got it, buddy. Okay, that's good. I knew that Ken is going to, you know... <laughs> okay. Aquarius, Houston. <laughs> We're so happy to hear him. That's a negative, Jim. 
I don't have the measles. <laughs> and he looked at the medical, right? This is Neil Armstrong and this is Buzz. Oh, whoa! All right. Oh. Are you boys in the space program too? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay, uh, find the main bus breakers on panel 11. Now, Ken, there's an awful lot of condensation on these panels. What's the word on these things shorting out? He's, he's afraid. Come on. Uh, we'll just uh, take that one at a time, Jack. It's like trying to drive a toaster through a car wash. <laughs> but it's, it's good, you know, that he's like, <laughs> he doesn't want to risk it anymore. Well, you got to get the weight right. We were expecting you to be toting a couple hundred pounds of moon rock. <laughs> it's sad, though, but it's... Houston, we're getting a first look at the service module now. One whole side of the spacecraft is missing. Oh, no, no, no. Right by the high gain antenna, a whole panel is blown out. Look like it got the engine bell, too. Can you see that? Oh, right, and you cannot really because it's so light. Odyssey, Houston. Uh, how we doing, guys? We're closing in on lunar module jettison. As you know, that is time critical. Uh, we should be making our move into the command module. Have you got everybody in the Odyssey? Yeah, Ken, I'm gonna check those pyro batteries one more time. <laughs> I love what he's rejecting everything now, you know? Come on, guys. The whole world is with you right now. You can do that. They explain it. We have Lunar Module Jettison. She sure was a good ship. <laughs> Very well, Aquarius. This could be the worst disaster NASA's ever experienced. With all due respect, sir, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. Yeah, just get these guys to, <laughs> to the land, okay? Safe and sound. <laughs> and on my mark, your velocity will be 35,245 feet per second. 35 seconds to entry interface. 35 seconds. Oh. The moment of truth. I wonder what each of them is thinking in this 35 seconds, you know? What comes to their minds? Like wives or kids, their parents, all of that. Flight, we have lost the radio contact. Roger that. Three minutes, right? Expect to regain signal in three mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, but content, content sat. Not sure how you call it in English. Our live cameras there. The Navy recovery and rescue helicopter. Yeah, everyone is just on the edge. Even I am. This is the critical moment for the heat shield hold. The whole world is watching, and everyone is just on the edge. That's three minutes. We are standing by for acquisition. Okay. Honestly, this is Houston. Do you read? Come on, go. Expected time of Come on. Has come and gone. No, 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 no. Honestly, Houston. Do you read? Come on. It's already been too long. What's it? They're losing hope. Like with each second, they're losing hope. Odyssey, uh, Houston, do you read? Come on! <laughs> and then parachutes open! This is Odyssey. It's good to see you again. Okay, this is so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was trying to quote it, but it's just... Okay, so these people are geniuses, you know? But literally every one of them who worked on this are heroes. Odyssey Houston, welcome home. We're glad to see you. Each one of them, they like contributed in all of that to make it work. It's just, I honestly, I'm so proud of each one of them because it's just... <laughs> and the parachutes are open and everything is... You know, I cannot even like imagine what we're going through now because like seeing our you know seeing home for all of us it's a not a big deal right but for them it's a it's huge 
In the following months, it was determined that a damaged coil built inside the oxygen tank sparked during our cryo stir and caused the explosion that crippled the Odyssey. I see. Fred Hayes was going back to the moon on Apollo 18, but his mission was canceled because of budget cuts. He never flew in space again. Nor did Jack Swigert, who left the astronaut corps and was elected to Congress from the state of Colorado. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gene Kranz retired as director of flight operations just not long ago. The seven extraordinary days of Apollo 13 were my last in space. Thinking of the thousands of people who worked to bring the three of us home. When will we be going back? And who will that be? Okay, just, I'm not going to talk a lot because I feel like um, after that emotion of a movie, I don't have my thoughts holding all together, but... I can definitely say that the movie was so beautiful and and terrifying at the same time. If we're going to talk about beautiful, we're going to, you know, talk about how these guys who were working at NASA, they weren't sleeping, they were trying to figure out a problem, which we have never seen before, right? They didn't have it on books, they had to uh, deal with that from the scratch right, tried many different scenarios without even advanced technologies, right, even the calculations they had to do on paper, so, and to, like, come up with such a creative approach about what they had to do with, like, duct tape and stuff, all of that, I'm just, you know, I'm so proud that our Earth holds people like that. Okay, the movie was gorgeous and honestly I'm so so excited and so grateful that this movie won a poll because I honestly loved it. It's such an inspirational, motivational, hard crying like this movie had everything in it. So it was the movie was gorgeous. I loved it so much and okay. I do have my Patreon channel, and if you want to see full reaction on this video or see my other reactions and also participate in votes where we decide what to watch next, please go and check out and support my page on Patreon. I also want to say thank you to my patrons who are now appearing on the screen. Thank you guys so much. And I want to say a special thank you to Kevin Walker, Brian Rowland, Dennis Donahue, Joe, Reinhardt, Leon Solgar, and Robert Galloway. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press like, and let me know in the comment section what you think about my reaction, what you think about all of this in general. And... I'll see you in my next moves. Bye.